Alright guys, welcome to your uh, second part of your broadcast receivers tutorial. So in the last video we set it up so that when we turned on and off airplane mode it would send a broad uh, the system would broadcast the app and we would capture that. So let's now set up a new uh, or a new broadcast receiver and we're going to send a custom broadcast. It's very simple. <laughs> To be honest, so I'm going to create a new Java class, and we're going to have this custom receiver, and we're going to browse for a broadcast receiver again. Okay, and there we go. So we're going to do the same thing at hand: toast the make text context. Go away. Thing. Custom broadcast received. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to register this in our manifest. Exact same. I'm actually going to copy and paste our old receiver. No, I'm not going to paste SUR for some reason. I don't even know why I have that on my clipboard. So we want to get our custom receiver, custom receiver, and our action. So with an intent, when you make an intent implicit, you can send an action string along with, and you can set the action to a specific string. Now this action can be many things in Android. It can be share, it can be view, it can be call, it can be dial. I think call and dial are actually the same, but essentially it means you want this action to be carried out by the system and the system goes who's ready for this action so the intent filter action we're going to say we're going to just say com dot te dot dot custom broadcast Broad P R I D C S T custom broadcast. Okay, so that's going to be our action. Now, uh, technically, we should have for permission. We're not going to do that because some normally you have to ask for permission to listen in on these kind of things. A lot of them you do have to require permissions. This one we're not going to bother. Like to listen for the network state changed on the Wi-Fi, you have to have network state change permissions. I'm just going to ignore that. We really should have have a permission, but we're just not going to bother with that right now. Okay, so we're going to go to our main uh, layout activity main in here. We're going to delete that, just drop in a button anywhere at all. There we go. Add a text. Oops. I've spelled that wrong. And we're just going to add. Android on click um, save a set of click clickers and stuff like that. So in our main activity we want make void uh, send broadcast view v so this method will be called Whenever we uh, send, whenever we click this button, the message should be called. I just copy paste the text and make sure I've got spelled correctly. Yep. Okay. So how do we send a broadcast? Well, we're going to create an intent. Okay. Very simple. Create an intent. Then we set its action. Set action, and we need to set this action to be the exact same string as we defined in our action down here in our manifest. Okay, and then we can send send broadcast intent, and that's it. We click the button, the intent will send, 
will receive it. So let's quickly run it. I generally don't use broadcast intents a lot of the time, to be honest. So send broadcast. Custom broadcast received. Perfect. And that's that's more or less it <laughs> for broadcast receivers. Um, you receive different intents. Uh, you can do what's called a sticky broadcast, where the intent will live longer. So the sticky broadcast, for example, is in a receiver here, a custom receiver. This intent only gets sent and then it vaporizes. You can actually have that like start an activity and pass the intent into it. You can. It's a little bit hairy, but you can make things really cool things with broadcast receivers. I need to go over advanced intents, implicit intents, explicit intents in a video because intents in Android are the meat of the system. They are just amazing. But anyway guys, I suppose that's it. The second part of broadcast receivers. Two very short videos. Very little, uh, small little topic and beautifully simple. But as always guys, it's been good talk. I'll see you out there.